This is a song, it's called You Remind Me of a Ghost. It's about the Canadian prairies. The city was a lover, we'd stay up all night. Cause it felt good. This song is called My Father's Body. It's probably the most depressing song you're going to hear this week. Oh, it's so sad. But it's kind of, well, it's about, it's about the, uh, my dad, he got, uh, my biological dad, um, he got COPD, which is what you get when you smoke cigarettes from when you're 15 to you never stop. And, and uh, I, anyways, he was like, basically told me he was going to die. And I was very sad about that. And, and we were on a trip visiting him, and we and we uh, drove back, and I kind of hit the windshield and made a made a beat, and wrote, I wrote this song in in our van uh, without without the the guitar. And then my dad actually got better, so he didn't die. But I wrote this song, like kind of mourning his death, and he and he, but he's still alive and well. Um, so so that's really nice, but. You know, I think it still stands as, you know, facing your parents' mortality is a thing I think we all will eventually relate to. We're all going to have that call one day where we've got a house to clean out, so that's what this song's about. It's 
smoke the weeks and for the weekend's dream. My father's body from which I stayed away ignored his face, my face said I'd never be. And so I'll say This next song is called Local Artist, and it's about the slog of being a, a, a musician in Saskatchewan. It's something that I don't know if anyone besides Saskatchewan musicians will be able to relate to, but maybe, maybe you will at home. Um, but it's about the love of music, the love of uh, writing songs, and then all the kind of like more, you know, worldly applications of, of what to do with those songs. <clears throat> no one's gonna fall in love to this song. No one's gonna fall in love with this song. No one's gonna hear this song. Shook in all those basements. Bad 
bachelor apartments, small town bars for small town payments. When the drunks get drunk, they don't chant your name. They yell requests and sometimes they complain. All the email, all the Facebook, local shows for half the door. Coffee shops and small house shows playing songs I wrote that nobody knows. Writing grants I'll never get. Pay at festivals to look at my desk. Enter a contest to get a break. I bug my friends and my family to vote again. And all this cause I like to write a song. All this cause I like to write a song. And the best part always is when I say, hey, baby, you want to hear a song? You say, yeah, after we put the kids down and we sit down on our couch and I sing to you all of my thoughts and you recognize the words as if you wrote them yourself and we realize we're lucky just to be in love, yeah. We'll realize we're lucky just to have enough and we'll realize we're lucky just to have these songs with all the things in the world it doesn't seem to matter if I can't share it with you. It doesn't seem to matter if I can't share it with you. It doesn't seem to matter if I can't share it with you. I guess it goes like that now. <laughs> <laughs> The Facebook equivalent of when people make those posts and they're like, I bet none of my friends are going to share this or like it. <laughs> that song? No one's going to play this song. Yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, yeah, it's like Darren. It's like, hey, you, wouldn't, you don't want to play like this song, psychology. radio. <laughs> yeah. Darn it, I am going to fall in love to this song. <laughs> and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> um, this next song is about, uh, I wrote for Carrie on our fourth anniversary as a, pre as a present, and uh, it's called Play for Keeps. And on that fourth anniversary, we went out to a restaurant that, and then they gave us some free wine. They're like, oh, it's your, it's your anniversary? How long have you been together? We're like, four years. There's a bunch of other couples there, and then they just started shouting how long they were together. Because it's a really small restaurant. <laughs> and, uh, and they'd be like, we've been together 10 years. And then everyone would clap. And then someone else was like, 20 years. And we're like, woo. And we're kind of just, um, you know, propping up the, each other. All the ones that are playing for keeps. After church one day, I cut across the double graves. A war bride and a prairie boy. They had only begun to know. They shared a stone and they shared a name. The winter frost tries to erase. Hey, hey. I don't judge folks when it gets steep, but when I play with you, I play for keeps those words I told you long ago. Set into the missing stone, and we don't join to just survive. We made a life for little guys An empire founded on your pretty eyes When I play with you, I play for keeps Hey! Hey! When they're both gone, we'll hobble down The golden mile on this main street town And even if we move a little slow I swear we'll still have more I swear we'll still have more to know And I don't mean to sound too deep But when I play with you I play for keeps those Words I told you long ago Set into the mason stone We don't join and just survive Found a flame, built this fire We made a life for little guys An empire founded on your pretty eyes When I play with you I play for keeps
This song is called um, How My Parents Got Together, and it's about how my parents got together. Um, because my, mo my mom, she, she, was, she was like uh, married to my biological dad for a very short time. And then, and then she, he kind of wasn't really around. And she was stuck in this small apartment in Edmonton. And, and she had to go on welfare because she couldn't afford daycare and to work at the same time, a problem that's still prevalent today. And, and she had always been told that people on, you know, uh, EI or welfare are, are lazy and, and less. And so she just like hated herself uh, because of that, um, because of the thing that she'd always been taught to hate, she now was, you know, now we all, uh, like half the Canada is. Um, but, uh, and uh, she had this date on the calendar that if things didn't get better, she was gonna take her own life. And that's when my dad who raised me came into the picture and that's what this song's about. This story starts With two kids and a broken heart In a white sky rise apartment Two blocks off of Jasper Avenue In that room On the 14th floor There hung a dozen pictures above months and weeks With a circled square for meeting God Humble hearts don't get a break They swell What's worth making inheritance When you can't inherit it all Oh, I know, I know that the ebb needs flow, that it gives and takes, and we step in the way. Why all we know? It's a funeral, and you can't escape all the words that you wanted to say. And in her heart, all her cliche claims would fall apart as she waited for her father and a husband to come home. He'll not be tied down. A crying child in a Reno rental gown. If he come home for her birthday, she asked him for a rocking chair. Humble hearts don't get a break, they swell. What's worth the meek inheritance when the land you get is foul? Oh, I know, I know that the ebb needs flow, that it gives and takes, and we stand in the way for all we know. It's a funeral, and you can't escape all the words that you want. Oh, I know, I know that the ebb needs flow, that gives and takes, and we stand in the way for all we know. It's a funeral, and you can't escape all the words that you wanted to say. This is how the story ends She put out all the stops adorned for an unadoring man He had gotten her something she would never remember And he was gone just like the wind, about as quick as he had come Her hopes were dashed upon the rocks of his abandonment and then her apartment buzzed her feet flew swiftly through the air and on the bottom floor a friend was standing there a friend she had not thought to love and who'd been loving her since he saw her sleeping on a couch He asked her to buzz him in He had gotten her something To rock her babies in Humble hearts don't get a break, they swell What's worth the meek inheritance When the land you get is foul Oh, I know, I know that the ebb needs flow, that it gives and takes, and we stand in the way for all we know. It's a funeral, and you can't escape all the words that you want. Oh, I know, I know that the ebb needs flow, that it gives and takes, and we stand in the way for all we know. It's a funeral, and you can't escape all the words that you wanted to say. And on that day, he saved. 
saved her And on that day he saved me I owe that man a lot song is called Prairie Girl. It's a story song. It's not connected to anything in my, in my life, in my real life. Um, but I got the idea for the song when I was getting my Bachelor of Education and a lot of my schoolmates, my, uh, my classmates, um, I met a lot of them that were these girls that would, they would come from these like small communities all around Saskatchewan and to them Regina was too big. It was like no uh, it's like, have you seen the amount of roads? I can't even count them. Um, and, and they just couldn't wait till they were done their B.Eds and they could get back home to try and find a teaching job in their communities that they grew up in. And I thought that was so, I thought that just that as a character that might be interesting to write a song about a character like that. And then I added in this character that she's dating this guy that he's like, Re Regina's not big enough. So for her, it's, it's too big. For him, it's not big enough. And of course... It's a relationship that can't last. What? Can I change your cable? Is it here? Oh, sorry, maybe this is a different part. Okay. <laughs> Where did you come from? Somewhere past Carlisle. Grew up on volleyball games and gas station movies. Graduated a year early. Hot tailed it to the big city. Got a job selling clothes at the mall. Love with the boy from Orange Julius But it made you miss home The streets you could count All the names you would know Oh, Prairie Girl Prairie Girl Prairie Girl The sunrise is peaking We stayed here too long Do -do 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 -do. We were watching the stars songs uh, called Casualties to Calendars. It's about uh, kind of enjoying your life. I think these days, just enjoying your life and being present in your life and making decisions um, to enjoy, it's like a revolutionary act. I, I, do you remember there was a time where just like, you know, people always got to keep up. They got their book for their book club and they're like, oh, I got to watch all of Game of Thrones so I know how to talk to my friends. And, and I was like, I remember when people watched TV for fun and, and, uh, and read books for fun. I mean, I mean, congratulations. Everything's a chore now. Um, <laughs> so this song is about life is short, so let's enjoy it. I 
have seen your face in city lights expelling light hooray hooray for night and day the city noise becomes our skin farm in Alberta. So the experience was very, um, you know, uh, farmy, evangelical. And, uh, and I, went, I went to church most of my life and, and uh, it, was, it wasn't until, a rec- you know, really recently I started to challenge a lot of like kind of like the religious things uh, that I used to believe. You know, like, I, there was one point in time in my life where I thought, yeah, people, some, some people when they die, just, they're on fire forever. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, so I think it's important to challenge anything you believe. And uh, this, this song is, is what came out of me challenging my own thoughts. Hell is in your head. There's a cross up on the wall, manufactured in Chicago, Illinois. There's a billboard on the street with the Savior's address and the times and dates he meets. There's a handshake at the door, like a Walmart greeter. And make you feel at home There's some lines you shouldn't cross You'd like to hope it's Texas But it's really dental floss My God, you're a hell of a dancer You sway the earth And Rome wasn't built in a day We all want to feel like we're on our way home Are we on our way home? And some say Heaven's a hall with a maximum capacity 
of a hundred or so. God's the fire marshal and he's keeping the stragglers out. And some say that hell's in your head and you carry it with you cause you're you when you're dead. And heaven's a hug that you carry around for others yourself, just anybody around. And some people say that heaven's a joke that God told at a party that not everyone was invited to. And hell's a place of torment, he sent the ones that didn't laugh. For a couple years now, suspecting that the road to paradise can't be paved with rejection it's hard to feel happy strumming your heart when your brothers and sisters are death in the dark so let's cash in the pavement buy tickets from hades let's tear down these gates no matter how pearly because heaven ain't heaven unless we're For the unclaimed, tell the hell can we be beaten? God at his game. Unless we build hell in our own image, a bunch of tribal creatures who can't deal with the difference. My God, you're the hell of a dancer, you sway the earth, and Rome wasn't built in a day. We all wanna feel like we're on our way home. Are we on? So you sway the earth and Rome was in bed. Last Best West. It's about all the immigrants uh, that came to fill the prairies um, late 1800s, early 1900s because Canada's thing was like we really want to fill the, the prairies so there's lots of people there and they tried so hard and there's still hardly any of us and they were like let's fill them with English oh, the English don't want to go let's fill it with French I guess oh, they don't want to go and then they were like and they were like well I guess let's fill them with Ukrainians and Polish people, you know, like my, my ancestors. <laughs> and so uh, this song has come up with that early uh, Ukrainian-Polish uh, life on the prairies.
wanted the good for I've got these hands What are they good for? They raise this drink unto my lips They raise this drink unto my lips They raise this drink Okay, so <laughs> this song is crazy. This is a song, I used to work at a historical site in Alberta, and um, they had a bunch of like really old um, uh, books and, and, and things like that. And in this old dusty book, I found a, um, a, well, I think a poem someone had written and uh, I don't know what time it was written in, or that it was a really old book, and the paper looked pretty ratty, but um, it, was a story, it was a story song about um, a guy who got stuck in a blizzard, and then this guy lets him stay in his house, and then eventually kills him. She said, 
tell me from where you came I spoke of meats and city streets The carnivals, the criminals Then at my feet she fell asleep I actually didn't find that song at a historic site. I wrote that. But uh, <laughs> I think it has a, has a better feel if you feel like you found it in a historic site in an old book. <laughs> okay, I got one more song. Uh, this song, I actually, I, actually, I actually wrote the song, the chorus for this song in my sleep. We were at the hospital in Saskatoon and Reese was being born. Say, hey, Reese. How's it going? Is that book good? <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, we were having Reese. Carrie was having Reese. Um, I had to get water every once in a while. It was hard on me, too. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, we, were, we were at the hospital, and Reese was being born. And uh, I fell asleep. And in that, my dream, I was singing the chorus to this song. Um, it was still a dream, so I think I was playing it on like a screen door I had taken off the hinges, but so it was still weird. But um, but that chorus, when I woke up, I was like, oh, I got to turn this into a song. So I wrote the verses when I woke up, and and that's how this song came about. Family of three at the Royal Hospital Waiting to take their Reese home Just recently was pulled out of a scar into the world But three is here, there's room for just one more Give me your hand Give me your heart Give me your hand, give me your heart We'll all stick together, oh, give me your hand Give me your heart Give me your hand, give me your heart, we'll all stick together. When you're off to school, your friends might tell you stories. 
about how their family tree got cut. But you won't hear a fight, no, you won't hear a scream. We'll whisper disagreements in the dark. Give me your hand, give me your heart. Give me your hand, give me your heart. We'll all stay together, all give me your hand. Give me your heart, give me your hand, give me your heart. Thanks, thanks, thanks for watching this, viewer. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, we care about your input. Just mail them to, I don't know. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for everyone. Thanks for uh, Bamboo Shoots for shooting this. You guys are and awesome. Thank you so much. Good day. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com.